That was funny. Good morning. We're back here at Blue Sky Ranch and we are in part three of our um, container shop build. I showed you earlier how we had our VersaTube um, shop kit delivered and Tom has started getting that ready and I'm going to show you a little bit of highlights on that. So things don't always go as planned and we showed you when we got the containers delivered how this one over here high centered in the middle and so not really knowing we lifted up a block which made everything level i showed you that but how that would affect our building so tom tell us what you've had to do well i would have had to do it anyway i would have had to raise this end up this end wall up but not quite this much so because... tom has put together the bottom frame of the verse tube yes right and now you've been trying to level it up but it's created it to be a little higher because we raised the containers. Yes, yeah, so the containers were never equal to each other though. So this this is just what's happened. We're up on, everything's level now and ready for the trusses to be built and to uh, eventually be installed upon them. So this was your first step in putting the VersaTube together was to put the bottom frame together. Yes. Make sure it fit perfectly in between the containers, which it did. Yes. Yeah, and so it's right, the containers squaring, are, squaring yes. and leveling it up, yes. which I didn't film because it was really boring and very tedious. <laughs> <laughs> but he's done this all on his own, and uh, every little piece goes together. And as you can see, is then screwed together. And then on these holes that she's looking at right now, those will have uh, ground or uh, yeah, rod anchors, three foot. Three foot anchors put in there so the wind can't blow out the back of the building right and that's our plan here is to attach this whole building to yes. the containers because we live in such a windy area and that's why we're not using a foundation of sorts is because our uh, shipping containers are our ten thousand pound anchors each right for the building and that's our assumption so the VersaTube came in on a semi truck and he had a big forklift and he had how many different pallets? Uh, probably six. Six different pallets. So you have unbundled every pallet. They had a uh, plastic over them and strapping just to see what we had. Yep. It's like getting a framing kit, but it's a, it's a metal kit. Yep. So what have you found, Tom, in all of this? In all of this, I found that uh, there's a, a, a build sheet that comes with everything, actually a, a quantity sheet, but it doesn't say what anything is. It just shows a picture of it. So and, nothing's uh, numbered, lettered, yeah, no, Nothing's labeled. numbered, lettered. No, you just have, but, I mean, you basically have to know what you're looking at and figure it out. Yeah, they give you an instruction manual. Yes, they have a generic instruction sheet for a 10-foot building up to a 30-foot uh, building in, uh, width, and ours is going to be 36. And So it would have been nice, though, if everything would have had a, a number, a parts number on it. So it said, put A together with B yeah. here, just like you get when you build anything, like a TV stand, anything. But well, this one doesn't the, have it. the real problem is, is that they show a picture of the part, but they don't say what the part is. Okay. Yeah, and also another thing I've run into, a quality issue uh, with the, over there, the two. So you were saying there was a quality issue Yeah, so with come these? around this way and look down these two, these two pieces right here. You can see that there's a gap in the center of them. I'll point to it right here, right here, right here. See how there's a gap? These are not square. This is metal. This should be square as square can oh, be. Oh, I see what you're saying. They're tight at the end, but then there's yeah, and they are not. Those them. are not square. That is a that is a quality issue, and I'm not real happy about it. I put in a call to um, the people we bought the kit from, and we're gonna see you know what they say about it. Right, you wouldn't think that metal could be unsquare. You would not think so, like but lumber. They're, there it is. So somehow it became unsquare. It's, uh, I'm not. Okay, Tom has started. He built, he's built three trusses so far, all on his own, no help, trying to get a system going of all the parts laid out. Yeah. So and the, it square. The, the system is, is that the first truss is the most important part, and that's going to be your template for all of them. You can see that these, I have these rods. 
uh, pounded into the ground. So and that's on the to keep first them after I, after I built the first truss and it's uh, perfectly 36 feet outside dimension, then I can uh, build the other trusses on top of it. And so that's what you're doing. You're dragging every piece over to it and laying it on top. Yeah, so now it's just a matter of matching that first truss as best as I can. And so this is your handy dandy hammer, I see. It's like the Thor hammer. <laughs> and yours, you, you've got your rods stuck into the ground so they don't move. Yep. And then you're building each truss you're on. You've done three now, it looks like. Yeah, yeah this, I'm working on my third. So how many trusses do we have to build? For, Eight total. I should say you. <laughs> Eight <laughs> trusses. All right. Yep. Well, it's looking good, Tom. And I know this is hard work and it's been really hot here, pushing 90 degrees here. Yes, so. and that's why I'm starting early in the day today. Yeah, we're starting early and um, the metal gets hot. So it's unlike lumber, the metal actually gets too hot. And it's yeah. very bl bright. It's like very, blinding. Yeah, right, blinding. Well, it's a, it's a crazy process, but you're getting it done. Yep. All righty. Till the next segment. <laughs> Bye. So here we are. We're at the next point of our project. Tom has got nine trusses that he has put together. They look great, babe. Thank you. Now we're at this experimental phase of we've been looking with the tractor and put them up on a windy day. I know we're not supposed to do this on a windy day, but I guess we'll see. So he's got forks on the tractor and some clamps. We're gonna we're gonna try this. We don't know if it's gonna work. It's just the two of us here today. And we're gonna do our best. So Tom, what's your plan here? Okay, but we're gonna give it a try, right? Yep. Okay. All right, this is our first attempt here. Not gonna stand too close, that's for sure. This is the raising of the truss. Is this gonna work? Can we get it tall enough without it coming back? Tom's really stressed out, so hopefully this goes okay. It may or may not. So unfortunately, that was as high as we could get it. So now what? All right, what we did before didn't work. So now we have built a jig. And we're using one of the 10 foot pallets. We could not get it tall enough. So we're gonna do this now. Can we get it tall enough this time without danger? Woo! I think we got it this time. They're off the ground. This is some seriously intense barn raising. You think Tom's stressed out? I have a feeling he is really stressed out. Here we go.
You're fine. Buy that one. Holy Christmas. The fun at Blue Sky Ranch today. Very stressful. Wow, Tom says. Wow! <laughs> Dude, that was nuts. That was crazy. That was crazy. A little nutty. They're sitting in the pockets though. That one needs a little help, but this one over there, perfect. That was really stressful, Tom. Well, you, you were just standing. <laughs> yeah, but under it and by it. And well, I didn't want to be on, by now. it. Here we got Lucinda going up the ladder. Yeah, they tie it off to the container so these these darn winds don't take this truss out of here because we haven't got the other trusses up yet to tie them to each other. And here we got Lucinda climbing up the ladder. And she's tying off this first truss to the shipping container so the wind doesn't take it away because we got crazy winds here. I'll give you a little overview of this truss. It is tall. And here's our makeshift farmer ingenuity, engineering, stupidity. I don't know. What is it? This is it, though. Good job. And here we got. I should be holding the ladder for her, but you know, we do anything for YouTube. I didn't think that there'd actually be a ladder, but look at this. There's a ladder. Alright, going off video. This is chest number two. Hopefully the second one gun one will go better. We got this. All right. We've got two trusses in place. Doing good, Tom. Yes, we are. All right. We just got all nine trusses put up. And of course the wind has come up. It is crazy. You can see this tree here blowing sideways. It is super windy. And Tom is really happy about it. I'm not happy about it. Mother Nature is usually a problem with this wind. Okay, we're going to be in a real hurry to get these hat tracks up to give them a little stability because watch them dance. They are moving and it is a little intimidating. Okay, wish us luck. There's Tom swaying in the breeze.
So what we're doing right now is we're trying to square up the containers to the building so we can attach the building to the containers. Okay. And here's Coco. She's trying to see what her daddy's doing in this corner. What are you doing, Dylan? I'm trying to level up the shipping container a little better, so this stress from our building, our plum, and also maybe this door will shut better. There we go. to our next leg of the container shop build cat channels so tom has had to rent this beastly uh, scissor lift uh, it's a scissor lift it's an all-terrain four-wheel drive scissor lift and we rented one first of all that they said would work on our gravel and it did not it so we, did not at all we had to take it back an hour and a half each way and get this guy an hour and a half and uh, lost a whole day of production um and it was costly we had to drive about yeah, so it was a, yeah 100, 100, 100, 100 bucks for diesel so <laughs> yeah <laughs> whatever but here we are we're moving on so tom is installing these are called hat channels. We're getting ready for the roof. Yep. Oh. And the rooster's talking to you. So how many of these did you have to install on the roof, Tom? 72. 72. So we beefed this roof up because of our wind. And um, so we'll be getting the roof on here, hopefully starting tomorrow. Yep. All right. There's Tom up there. He's installing the hat channel. Oh, the most fun part, drilling. No, not really. Lots of drilling. Self-tapping screws that really aren't. Thank you, China. Self, he's talking about <laughs> self-tapping screws that came with the kit. And uh, they've been a little inferior. So here we are. Hat channels are all done. Tom's putting up the braces for the gable. We are ready to put the roof on. Doing the roof. Why did, wait, no, 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 why did that just happen? And this is the favorite part, running inside of the scissor lift. We're going for a ride. Yeah. Hi, cows. We're cruising. Woohoo. Drive this thing, Tom. Backwards. The controls are backwards. Sorry. <laughs> All right. 
right, now we're stiffening up the shop with hat braces. Down, or you would put them down the center. Three rows of hat channel to reinforce the trusses. So here we are at the completion of our building. As you can see, we've tied it all into the shipping container, just with sidewalls up there. Tom is finishing up with some seal. We are ready for winter. Hi, Tom. We're here finishing up our shop here. We're right about at the completion, aren't we? Yep. The seal and the, uh, the trim I put up here to keep the water out. That's so, my idea instead of gutters. So here on the side panels here, and where it connects to the shipping container, we put a L channel up there, which Tom is sealing. So hopefully no rain will come back into the shop, right? That is the hope. The hope. And to uh, uh, further uh, windproof the structure, I went around and, and uh, put the rebar in on every segment the frame and sunk it into three feet of uh, concrete and right these are pre-drilled and they supply these yeah. versatube does so their intention is that you put these yeah in it's, every spot but what we did is i should say you i didn't help but you sunk them all into concrete yeah So then you also attached brackets to the shipping container. Yep. And to the structure of the shop. And uh, theoretically, this is going to hold up to uh, 100 mile per hour wind, <laughs> we hope. Well, you also had this ordered with extra purlins, correct? Yeah, extra, yeah, ex extra purlins up there, Which extra hat channel. And uh, that way we can actually walk on the roof. Right, we can walk on the roof, but our real intent was for snow load and wind. Yeah. So what do you think of this VersaTube now that you're done? Give us your two cents on VersaTube. Well, the VersaTube structure came uh, complete. Uh, the instructions were severely lacking, but, uh, you know, once you get to the end of it, you're an expert and you understood what those instructions meant. I think they could do a little better job, but overall the structure I think is beefy. Uh, the materials are good and uh, we're going to see how it uh, stands up here because we have a, uh, we have a seriously windy area. Yeah, I think we're pretty happy. I think that um, we did this shop, meaning mostly you, but I helped where I could. But uh, I mean, we only had to rent the lift for a week yep. and we had your brother came and helped us on the roof but pretty much it was a two-person crew but and, my tractor. and a tractor the tractor yeah. we used it a lot yep. so i think um as far as versatube we really think they uh, provided a good product yes.